Never knew how much I love you Never knew how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever Fever Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it, it is completely up to you, no pressure. None whatsoever here, just watching for entertainment, watch. But if you're thinking, mm, that's a good idea, it is your choice to use it or to not use it. I'm just saying what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, today we are chatting about being in the sheets, being in charge, being the one in control in the bedroom. Now, this question comes from a married woman who's just like, listen, me and my husband been together for a while and I'm used to him taking the lead, but I want to take the lead sometimes. I want to initiate things. I want to be in control. I just don't know how. So, Kapano, please help. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Now, <laughs> darling, if I was in your shoes, I'd run that bedroom, honey. But there's a few things that I know I take into consideration before that happens. So if you want to know how do you take control as a woman in the bed, when it comes to knocking boots, being in the sack, being in the bed, getting down and dirty with your man, how do you take control? How do you run things? How do you say, listen, men, this is what you do. Drop the panties. I'll let you know further instructions until then. I just need you naked on the bed this is what you would do now if you have any questions or scenarios that you want to send to me head over to my instagram at kopanashimange and look for this picture right here click on the little pink box or reply and let me know what you would do if you were in a situation or what you want me to do or say in our next video but until then let's not waste any more time let's get into that question now we're not all super confident when it comes to the bedroom all right we don't all know the tricks we don't know the Kama Sutra like the back of our hands. We don't know Sex Positions 101. We're not all that confident, okay? But sometimes we want to be the ones in the lead. Sometimes you get into bed and you know that your man is going to be the one to initiate. And if he doesn't initiate, ah, it's, it's fine, we just go to sleep. You get into bed and then you just hear, baby, baby, baby. And then you know it's on. But if that doesn't happen, it kind of gets a bit hard sometimes for us to be the ones to initiate, for us to be the ones to take control in the bedroom. Usually we take the man's lead and maybe now and again, we'll just slide something in as per request. But sometimes we want to take control. We want to be in the lead because there's certain things that we want to have done. Now as women, we need to get into the habit of saying what we want, especially when it comes to our sexual relationships with our partners. Now these are the few steps and things that you can do to start taking control and be in the lead in the bedroom. Number one is to be a vixen. Yes, be that girl. Believe you're sexy. The seductress, the temptress, the one with the whip. Whatever it is, be that girl. Now what I like to do is to develop a sexy outer ego. All right? You know how Beyonce has such a fierce? Ne? Wena, you must have your own. Ne? So wena umbali, and then you're going to think to yourself, I'm going to be pedals, the dancer. Whatever you want to be, okay? Developing this vixen side of you, this party in a box that is only for your man, that only comes out when it's time to get in the sheets, you know? Or oh, that whole saying of a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets, that whole thing. Name that little freak, that little freak, that little girl, that one that knows what she's doing, that one that says what she wants, that takes control, that takes charge, that gets on top, that bad girl. Be that vixen. If you need to develop an alter ego to make that happen, do it. You don't have to tell your man about it or you can tell him about it if you think that it's going to be fun. Sometimes it may be like, hey, this pedal's coming tonight. You know what I mean? So decide, this vixen inside of me, yeah? Is she coming out tonight? What is it? What's her name going to be? You know, 
what's her name how does she, is she a, you know is she a dancer or is she just that girl who knows what's going on in the bedroom that one who's confident that one who knows the situations right develop that vixen inside of you if you need to develop an alter ego do it honey trust me it just adds that extra spice to the relationship it just adds that extra character that you just need and if your man says ah you know i need something different you just pull it out of the box and you say oh pedals step number two is to have a game plan especially if you're not really used to it and you might get a little nervous have a game plan there's nothing wrong with it plan it out and say okay the night where i take over this is what i want to do to be confident i'm going to wear this right and maybe i may request that he is in bed already what positions are you going to be in are you going to indulge in floor foreplay before if so what kind do you need to plan any instructions that you want to give him plan it out in your head or write it down it doesn't matter just planning it out really does help you to just have an idea of what you're going to do here's a secret confidence isn't always something that people are just born with confidence is practice and knowledge so if you gather knowledge before you head into the bedroom then you can come with confidence knowing what's going on right especially if you have a game plan you're not gonna get in there and then you're just gonna sit there thinking to yourself oh crap what now what now do i want to touch that no should i no bring it back you need to just have a plan so having a plan and knowing what you're going to do when you get into the bedroom gives you a bit of ease right it helps you calm down just a little bit so you're just like okay fine my husband tonight i'm bringing pedals be there this is what i need you to do and this just connects to point number three which is to talk it out all right having things in your mind and in your brain and just thinking to yourself okay fine so i'm gonna do this then step one then step two then i'm gonna do that I'm gonna... it's going to make you really nervous okay like i said we're not all good at this and you've been with your husband for a while and you may be thinking to yourself oh i'm so embarrassed because i said i'm going to take over don't be this is the guy who knows you you married this guy he knows you better than any other guy knows you right so talk it out be comfortable with speaking through the experience this will make you and him more comfortable if you are feeling a little embarrassed tell your man it's fine talking it through helps you to both be involved in the process remember you have this game plan in your head so you want to tell the man so that you don't end up in a situation where you're just trying to flip him because you're just like hassing so so it's, it's up and then uh, no just ah uh, you don't want that it gets frustrating and honestly certain situations like that just go pfft, you don't want that so talking it through helps you to both move at the same pace and move through the same things so your man knows where your head is at while you're busy and step number four get on top it is much easier to be in control if you're the one on top i know this is intimidating especially if you're not really that used to it that's why you also need a game plan and also pedals i pedals can ride it pedals or sharp pedals knows what she's doing but when you're on top you can avoid that situation where you knee your man in the wrong parts because you're just trying to get him to do the right things because he's on top if you want to take charge as a woman get on top it's also something that men love when a woman is in charge and she's on top then she is the leader of the situation you get on top and say i'm your captain now you are the one in charge you are in a position of control but if he's on top i'm telling you that knee is going to land in the wrong place and everything's going to go sideways get on top he will enjoy it you will get what you want out of the experience and you will be in control step number five is to embrace the embarrassment listen this man that you have chosen and this man that has chosen you there's a level of comfort that you guys have that cannot be surpassed at any sort of situation when you get married to someone it is the ultimate level of of, of embracing someone and knowing the deepest crevices of this human being right so embrace the embarrassment if you're going to be embarrassed with anyone sexually it may as well just be this man who's put a ring on it all right so you just want to 
Be okay with being embarrassed. Be okay with not being perfect at it because you want to get some experience. You want to try and do it over and over again. And if you're going to try and hide being embarrassed, you're not gonna do it again. You want to do it as many times as possible. Step number six is to have options, okay? Don't just only have one game plan. Pick multiple positions, right? So you are in charge tonight, you know what you want to do. But plan A might not work because when you think about it, maybe you were just not as flexible as you thought you were. You saw that thing in your head planning out differently and then you try and you're just like, ah, can't do that thing. It actually is, is, is much harder than I thought. Yeah, no, we need to change the plan. That's fine. Have a couple of options so that you know that if this doesn't work out, you're not out of options, you can try something else. And number seven, when you take control, you will refuse to sabotage yourself. When it comes to us women getting what we want out of sexual experiences, the number one enemy of us being 100% pleased is self-sabotage. We are the ones that ruin it for ourselves. We'll be on top, we'll be getting there, but because we're embarrassed or because we're scared or because we're fearful, we'll stop and just be like, ah, oh, it's fine, leave it. Don't leave it. No self-sabotage. Pedals is not a self-sabotager. Pedals takes control, she rides it, she gets what she wants. When you take control of the sexual experience in the bedroom, you need to get what you came for. Women need to be more open about what they want from their sexual experiences with their partners. Do not sabotage your own experience by backing out of it. It is okay. If you find out that actually I'm quite a bossy person in the sheets, be that girl. It is fine. It is something different for your man to experience. So don't be shy of the person you become when you are in control. Don't be scared of what will happen when you experience that level of pleasure that you want. And step number eight, you want to set the scene. Something that makes it very easy for you to take control and for you to actually be in the mood is for you to set the scene. If you feel as though you want the lights off, you want a few candles and you want there to be a scent in the room to make you feel better and to make you feel more sensual, do it. Set your man up the way that you want him to be set up. Choose the location that you want, choose the lighting, choose the scent, choose the right panties. Whatever it is that you need to set the scene. Remember, mentally is the winner. You need to have the mentality there to bring up pedals. Pedals need that, that extra, you know, that extra to bring her out. So whatever you need to bring the vixen out, set the scene. That way you know that when I get into the room, the scene is set for, for me to take over, for things to go down, all right? So take some extra effort in making the scene what you want it to be. You may not be as spontaneous, especially if you're not used to taking control. So try and set the scene beforehand. If it means that you want to take a long bubble bath with some oils before, do it to bring out that vixen in you. Step number nine is for you to undress him. Most of the times, he will undress you or you guys because la bora, you'll undress yourselves. You undress yourself, I'll undress myself. Ugh, spice it up, girl. Tell him, no hands. Leave them behind you. I will do everything. If you want to take control, you need to start with every button must be undone the way that you want it to be undone. If you don't have practice, start practicing today. If it's very hard to get those skinny jeans off, practice, you'll get there. Start at the bottom, just as a tip. You will get there, I promise you. If you take control, this also turns the man on. When you take control, take full control, all control from every aspect of this experience. You, you're the boss, call me boss. You are the boss of this moment. So you take control from the beginning. You undress him. Even if it means that he must be fully naked before you even take off a single thing, do it. And finally, step number 10, have fun. Do not stress about this whole situation so much that you talk yourself out of it. 
don't stress so much about being in control and getting things right and the specific positions that you want to get into that you forget to enjoy yourself this is a fun experience you are supposed to find pleasure in your man the same way he is supposed to find pleasure in you so have fun with it and do it as often as you possibly can if you need to set times and dates for you to be the one who's in control do it but have fun my love do whatever it is that's in your mind if you want feathers and ruffles and if you want to throw things in the air if you want confetti do it it's your moment it's your scene it's you are the director of this moment that you're going to be having so go all out say what it is that you want to have in the experience and do what it is that you want leave there fully satisfied just satisfied just ah just mwah, just happy with what has happened have fun with it this is something that's supposed to be enjoyed by the both of you so have fun live it all right beautiful people i hope that that helps you to take control in your relationship and in your sexual encounters with your man have fun with it take control take charge make it a special event that every tuesday is pedals day whatever you need to do to make it fun. Following these steps may add that spice that you've been needing in your marriage to make things a bit more exciting and to have those days where things are a bit different because pedals is home. Whatever it is that you need to do, do it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment box down below, do you have an alter ego? Do you have a vixen that's living inside of you that needs to take over, that is roaring like a lion? Let me know in the comment box down below which step stood out for you and if you will be taking control anytime soon. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Until the next one, beautiful people, I'm Kapana Shibange and this is How I Do Things.